ओपन ए आई चैट जी पी टी डाल टू आर समर्म्स आई एम प्रिटी श्योर दैट एवरी वन ऑफ यू मस्ट बी गेटिंग बम्बार्डेड विद मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन अ डे आई कम अक्रॉस द इंडलेस पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड केपेबिलिटीज ऑफ दीज टूल्स एंड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर दैट यू आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग एन ईयरफुल ऑफ द सेम so much so that some people are also calling it a google search killer so what are these services what is the technology behind and how it is connected to microsoft azure all this coming up in this super exciting video hello and welcome back to the tech blackboard in this video let's explore these talk of the town tools all based on artificial intelligence and let's understand how can you use them for your benefit first thing first let's first understand what is open ai so here i am on the official website of open ai and let's explore or let's see what they exactly have to say about themselves so on this website you can come across to this page which says about a small quick description about open ai is given on this page so it says that open ai is an ai research and development company our mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all the humanity now i am sure that you might not have gotten a full idea of what open ai is from this definition but never mind let me give you some more facts about open ai that will help you understand clearly what open ai is and how you can use it so my friends open ai is an artificial intelligence research non profit company and it was founded in the year 2015 by altman musk and other silicon valley investors musk yes you heard it right it is elon musk but friends based on the information that i gathered from the internet elon musk has stepped down from the board in 2018 however he still remains an investor in open ai now let's understand what is chat gpt so open ai is the parent company that owns chat gpt as a product so here we are on the chat gpt official website so here you can see that it says that chat gpt is optimizing language models for dialogue it also says that we have trained a model called chat gpt which interacts in a conversational way the dialogue format makes it possible for chat gpt to answer following questions admit its mistake challenge incorrect premises and reject inappropriate requests also chat gpt is a sibling model to instruct gpt which is trained to follow instructions in a prompt and provide a detailed response so let me give you more information gpt3 stands for generative pre trained transformer 3 And yes my friends I fully know that this definition is sounding like straight away coming from the matrix or the transformer movie but please be with the video and you will understand what are the capabilities of this wonderful tool chat gpt so before i further explain what is chat gpt i want you to understand what exactly is a chat bot so i am sure that all of you must have come across chat bots on various websites so this is the microsoft azure website and here on this website i just want to show you what is a chat bot so chat bot my friends you can see on this bottom right corner if i click here which says chat with sales so this will open a sort of chat bot so now you can see that we have a azure chat bot you can perceive these chat bots as a level 1 help desk basically a chat bot is a computer program designed to simulate conversation with human users especially over the internet and to take this conversation ahead the chat bot wants to know how i want to use the azure basically if i want to use the azure for business purposes or education purposes or like a partner network so let me say that this is for education purpose now you can see that based on my input chat bot has suggested or come up with a page that will be best suited for me based on the algorithm running in the chat bot So I hope you got the idea chatbot is a level 1 help desk that first kicks in whenever you start the conversation and then try to understand what exactly you are looking for and probably if the need arises this will hand over the conversation to a manual person or you can say a real human being so now you can think chat gpt similar to a chatbot but you can say it has a lot of artificial intelligence so it's basically a large language model chatbot 
developed by OpenAI based on the chat GPT 3.5 and trust me friends it has awesome ability to interact in conversational dialogue and provide responses that will leave you in surprise. I will show you a quick demo in a short while on chat GPT but let's first understand one more tool that is called DALE2. So let's first understand what is the official definition of DALE2. So this is the site for DALE2 and once again you can observe that DALE2 is also owned by OpenAI. And just after that you can see that a lot of photographs are popping up on this website. So this already gives you an idea that the DALE2 tool is actually related to images or photographs. And that you can also read it from here. It says that DALE2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in a natural language. So now let's scroll a little and let me show you what are some examples of what you can do with DALE2. You can use this tool to generate images that you will never find on Google or any other search platform. You can be really creative with your imagination. For example, you can see it gives you an example, an astronaut, teddy bear and a bowl of soup. And here you can see that DALE2 has generated this image as a sample which actually matches with the description that you have given it. So in simple word, it is a deep learning model developed by OpenAI to generate digital images from a natural language description called prompts. It was first revealed by OpenAI in January 2021 and then in April 2022, OpenAI announced DALE2 which is a successor designed to generate more realistic images at high resolution and that can combine concepts, attributes and styles. It's a very creative tool and fun to work with. So now let me tell you some of the ways in which you can use all these tools. Well, to start with, I can just say the possibilities are just endless. You can use these tools as your own personal assistance for writing letters, applications and essays and whatnot. Or maybe use it as a writing tool and write your next professional email, marketing content. So basically use it as a natural language based search. And these tools are not restricted to your professional life, but you can also use them in your personal life. So kids and parents across the world, both are using it equally to write those never ending school homeworks. Or you can also use them to create some research work document for your next project. In case you are stuck with the legal documentation, why not give a try to chat GPT and in case you're feeling more creative use chat GPT to write a white paper. Also my friends gone are the days when you have to break your head to summarize those official meetings. Now you can use chat GPT for them as well and we as a programmer why should we be left behind. So you can use these tools as a code assistance. You can write and build SQL query, write Python code, PHP code, generate HTML and as I said the possibility possibility is just endless and then for the artist in you use the DALE tool to create realistic images and art just from a plain description written in a natural language. And now my friends let me show you a quick demo on chat GPT and then we will understand how all this is connected with Microsoft Azure. So now you can see that I am on the chat GPT website. You can create your own personal login. It's absolutely free. No fees, no money, nothing. Just give it a shot. And once you have logged in, you will reach to this interface. Here you can start with asking questions. For example, you can ask chat GPT to explain quantum computing in simple terms. But then I'm not interested in quantum computing. I just want to simply generate a code for my next website. And let's see if chat GPT can help me with that. So why not give it a task to generate a simple HTML code, maybe some PHP for my next website. So let me write here basic blog. Okay, this is a spelling mistake. I will correct that basic blog in HTML and PHP. And let's say enter. Let's see now if chat GPT can generate this code or not. So it says that to create a basic blog using HTML and PHP, you need to have basic understanding of both languages. Okay, I, I know that. Okay, so it's doing some work. It is giving me a lot of points, but I don't see any code as of now. Okay, maybe I'll, I will I will stop it here. Maybe I will refine my search here. So code for HTML website using PHP. Okay, let's try this one. 
now let's see what happens if we have some okay i can also see that we are experiencing exceptionally high demand okay now i can see that it is actually generating a code for me in html i can see okay here goes the title we have body let's see what it gives us more okay now we have a header okay okay now i see that it is actually generating the menu the top menu for my for my page so here we have home about us contact okay now it ends the menu and now it's starting the main body for my html let's see what it says oh aha now it generates the php code well that's wonderful okay so now my friends you can observe that chat gpt is actually generating a code in php which you can actually use in your website development so here comes the footer we have the copyright standard footer so you can see that not only the chat gpt generates the code it actually gives you some more assistance or more guidelines and also it guides you some of the things that you need to do but let's try one more thing because we said that this is a conversational tool let's try to see if we can add some css into this so let me see if this actually understand this conversation let me hit enter okay now this is great now it is actually understanding the conversation so it's not standalone talks it actually understands the conversation generating a css for me that i can use in my html code so friends how cool this can get I told you at the very start of this session that the possibilities are just endless. I would like to know what have you used chat GPT or DALI 2 or OpenAI for. It's going to be a very interesting conversation. Let us all share our experiences with these tools and let me know what have you created with these tools in the comment section. Now let's explore how Microsoft Azure is connected with all this. So once again, I'm back on the official website of OpenAI and here I want to bring your attention to this about section again. We have already read this definition, but this is not the section I want your attention. This is the section where I want you to focus on. So let me first zoom it a little. So here, my friends, in this first paragraph, they're telling you all the member names that are present in OpenAI board. And then they are also telling you that our investors include Microsoft, Reed Hoffman Charitable Foundation and Khosla Ventures. So this gives you a first hint that Microsoft is involved in OpenAI project. And in case you have any doubt still, this is the website where you can see the clear collaboration between OpenAI and Microsoft. The link is given in the description box. Please go ahead, read more, understand what is the relation between these two mammoth organizations and how they will benefit you in your future ventures. But let's understand a little bit more. Here you can see that Microsoft invests in and partners with OpenAI to support us building beneficial AGI. It also tells you that Microsoft is investing 1 billion in OpenAI to support us building artificial general intelligence with widely distributed economic benefits. We are partnering to develop a hardware and software platform with Microsoft Azure which will scale to AGI. So you can very well notice that Microsoft Azure is being used as a platform to develop this awesome platform of OpenAI. A lot of other information is also given how they are collaborating. There are some videos. In fact, let me show you one very interesting press release directly with Satya Nadella. So very recently on 6 January 2023, an interview was published on CNBC TV 18 with none other than the Microsoft CEO, Satya Nadella. Hello, welcome to the very first edition of Global Update 2023. So this was a very insightful video with Mr. Satya Nadella, who pointed out to chat GPT amongst a host of other things. He also pointed out that the whole model was trained on Microsoft Azure. 
future plans of Microsoft were also discussed in this interview. In case you are more interested, I have provided the YouTube link in the comment section for the published interview on the official channel of CNBC TV18. It really was a wonderful interview and it's always a great pleasure to listen Mr. Satya Nadella. And in case someone of you is more interested to know what is Azure OpenAI, this is the documentation. This documentation you can read what is responsible AI, how to get access on Azure OpenAI, compare Azure OpenAI and OpenAI key concepts and what are the steps that you can take to further learn on OpenAI. But let's just explore a little bit more and here you can see that Azure OpenAI service provides REST API access to OpenAI's powerful language models including GPT-3. So this is the GPT-3 codex and embedding model series. I am sure that you are already observing this GPT-3 here. So this is the base platform used in OpenAI, ChatGPT and DALE2. Furthermore, you can also explore what are the different models available. So for example, we have GPT-3 base series codex series and embedding series. And not only that, you can also learn about the fine tuning, pricing, virtual network support and lot of other things. And friends, in case you are preparing for Microsoft certification on artificial intelligence like AI 900, this is a very important section. There are lot of questions in AI 900 exam that are based on Microsoft's principle of responsible AI use. Also, you can refer this video on your screen. This video has a collection of 115 questions that are very exam like and you can prepare for AI 900 certification in just couple of days. So in this video, you will find 115 questions with answers, Microsoft documentation, tips and tricks to make sure that you pass AI 900 exam. I hope you like this quick video on OpenAI, ChatGPT and DALI2. Do share your experiences with these tools so everyone can learn and benefits from these amazing tools. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.